Jess, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I'm going to be doing a heatless blowout stretching hair method. I've seen a few around and you know, like I just be kind of like picking out ideas from everyone and just putting it together into my own. So that's what we're gonna do. So I uh, washed and conditioned my hair last night and then fell asleep in this towel. I was supposed to do this video last night, but I, like I said, I fell asleep. So um, in order to stretch my hair, I'm gonna go ahead and part my hair down the middle. As usual, I'm gonna go ahead and oil my scalp. I'm actually using Jamaican black castor oil, but it's in, I put it in my main choice growth oil bottle. I still like the main choice, but I wanted to switch it up because I don't want my hair to get too used to a specific product and then not work as well. I don't know if that's a real thing, but whatever. So I'm gonna oil my scalp really quick. Very vital for hair growth, in my opinion, for my hair growth journey. This has helped my hair to grow a lot. Like, can you see it? No, I don't you don't see it now. Oh. Okay. And then you guys have seen me use this a million times. It's my Groove Scalp Massager from Vanity Planet. Coupon code for your girl. Uh, what is it? Just 20? I'll leave it on the screen and in the description box below. So I'm just going to use this to massage my scalp as well. You just turn it on. And it starts to vibrate. And then you just like... Y'all have seen me do this a million times, but um, so I'm just gonna massage in the castor oil into my scalp. All right, so for this heatless stretching method, I like to deal with my hair, but it's a little damp. So I don't want it to be wet, but just a little damp. And a lot of you have been asking, and this spray bottle is from Sally Beauty. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm going to split my hair into four sections, and then I'm going to put um, a regular braid in the four sections. So it don't have to be like even or anything, but just a decent size. You don't wanna do them too small because this is not a braid out. You just want your hair to be stretched. Also, I'm gonna go ahead and add some leave-in conditioner. This is the Curl Repair Leave-In from Cream of Nature, cause like all of my hair products are from Cream of Nature, cause they always send me stuff. And then I'm going to just go over it with some Shea Yogurt Hair Moisturizer. So after that, I'm just gonna use a wide tooth comb to detangle my hair because you wanna make sure your hair is thoroughly detangled and you don't have any like knots or naps in your hair, which I have a few. And then to really seal the deal, I'm gonna go in with my diamond brush to really make sure I don't have any tangles in my hair at all. And after that, I'm just going to braid my hair down. Try to be pretty um, tight at the top so that your roots are flat and then you can be a little more relaxed with the rest of your hair. All right, so here's my braid. Try to keep it as flat as possible at the top. Or at the roots, I should say. And braid all the way down. I know before I said I was gonna do four braids, but just kidding. I'm gonna do three braids in the back. So for you, depending on the length of your hair and the, the thickness of your hair, you decide how many braids you're gonna need. But four braids with all this going on was probably not gonna give me the best results. So I'm probably gonna do three braids back here, and then I'll update you on how many braids I do with the rest of my hair.
I'm done with this half of my hair. I have five braids on this side. You can already tell that there is going to be a major difference tomorrow. So I'm gonna do the same exact thing with this side. Go ahead and oil my scalp. Y'all already know what time it is. All right, then I'm gonna braid up the rest of my hair and then I'll be back. All right, so I'm all done braiding up my hair. So I have 10 braids in total. I have five on each side. So this is what we got going on right now. Just to further stretch my roots a little more, I am going to just pull my hair, pull the braids back and then just clip them or bobby pin them to the back. All right, and there we have it. My hair is all pinned up. So I'm just gonna keep it like this for maybe 24 hours until my hair dries. Tomorrow I'll be back to show you what it looks like, give you guys a little length check, and then, um, yeah, so I'll be back tomorrow. Hey you guys, all right, so it's the next day and my hair has been in these braids for over 24 hours, so I know for a fact they are dry. So all I'm gonna do now is just take them out and brush them out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take my braid out. But anyways, so brush it out and here we are. So here we go, blown out and stretched. I'm gonna put a little bit of hair moisturizer on it, just to give it some shine. Okay, you guys, so I'm halfway done with this heatless stretching method. I'm not sure how I feel about it. Like I said before, I think I, I think I said this before, this is my first time trying it. And obviously it's not gonna be as straight as it would be if I used a blow dryer. But I don't really know how I feel about it just yet. I just feel like, I don't know, I feel like it didn't work. <laughs> but we're already here, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep on going. results of like the heatless blowout and you know actually on second thought not too bad <laughs> this is what we have going on here I just like you have to remember the point of a blowout is not to have your hair bone straight it's just to stretch it a little bit and the fact that I could get this stretched hair without any heat I would call it a success for sure. Now you can just proceed to doing any style that you would want to. So much easier for me to like do up my hair. Oh, I don't know what style I'm about to do, but I'm about to be rocking it. So I'm excited. I don't know what I'm about to do with this. Feels good. It still feels soft. I can run my fingers through that bad boy. Not the easiest. Okay, blow out. Go ahead and show off. I also really wanted to do a length check for you guys because I don't know if you guys have noticed, but my hair has been the same length for about six or six months now. As you know, I've been dyeing my hair a lot, okay? I bleached my hair about a year, a year ago, and then I've been dyeing it red for like the past five months. Even though my hair is healthy, for the most part, as healthy as it can be for color treated hair, my ends were very dry. The past few months I've been working with Cream of Nature doing different like hair projects for them and when you work with a professional company or a professional hairstylist and you're going to be like the face of a certain type of something, your hair has to be in the best shape. So when I went in August, she cut off about an inch and a half of my hair, almost two inches of my hair because my ends were dry. 
And then I went again in December, which is four months apart, but then I cut another two inches of my hair. So from August to December, four inches of my hair was cut off. So I, um, ew. Y'all had me talking with this stuff in my lip this whole time, that's disgusting. So four inches of my hair was cut off and we only grow six inches of hair a year. So I cut off majority of my growth from last year. So I feel like my hair has been kind of stagnant. Like it is obviously it's growing, like you can see that. So my hair is growing, but I'm also continuously chopping the ends off. So I'm like at a stagnant stage. I know I'm talking a lot and you guys wanna see this length check, but I just want you guys to know what's going on with my hair since that is what my channel is about. So I do think four inches out of the year is too much to be cutting off of your hair, but it really depends on the condition of your hair. And if your hair is dry, it's better to have health over length. So I'm not mad at it, whatever. But my hair is extremely healthy. Y'all don't care anymore. Y'all just want to see this length check. So let me hit y'all with a quick length check real quick. So I'm just gonna pull down this side here. Yeah. Definitely, obviously past armpit length. I don't even know what this would be called. Um, I'm down by my shirt. Um, not quite boob length, so. This is where my hair is. <laughs> Look like Cleopatra. So here we are right here. And then for the back. So for the back, I'm right here. So I guess I might be bra strap length because this is where my bra would have been. Um, obviously, I'm not wearing one, but okay, anyways. So I think I'm about bra strap length right now. Right here. There's another piece from the other side. It reaches pretty much the same spot. Come closer. Same spot. All right, so that's my length check for you guys. I know a lot of you have been asking, am I gonna straighten my hair? And I'm not gonna straighten my hair until I get some more length back on <laughs> because I like where I am, but I'm not where I, I feel like I should be for my three year natural hair journey. But that's just the price you have to pay when you color your hair or when you bleach your hair. So that's what I did, so I'm paying for it. This video has been way too long, so dang, Candy Crush. So I'm about to be out. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.